Hi friends, Sauravir, welcome back to my channel. First of all, happy and safe holy to all of you. Let's play dry holy, don't waste the water and yeah, that's it. So let's start the tutorial. Okay, so in our last tutorial, we have seen the ref cursor. What is ref cursor, how it is different from normal cursor and how it is more flexible and you know, uh, the definition and concept of ref cursor today today we are going to see the examples of ref cursor these examples will help us to understand in better way what is actually the ref cursor is and how we can deal with ref cursor all right so here actually i have uh, i have you know written three examples for that i'll explain you all the examples one by one and you will have more clear picture about the ref cursor okay so uh, how can we declare the cursor first so we have to uh, you know when we are uh, dealing with cursor we have three or f uh, actually four basic steps first of all we have to you know declare the cursor uh, then we have to you know we have to open the cursor then we have to fetch the data and then we have to uh, close the cursor these are four steps these are four steps to you know dealing with cursor so here we are going to do the same thing first of all we will be declaring the cursor how to declare ref cursor we have to write the keyword type then your cursor name uh, you know you can write anything here then the keyword is and ref cursor then terminate it we are going to you know uh, uh, we are going to create weak uh, cursor weak uh, type ref cursor actually so this is the uh, you know type of emp underscore ref is the type of ref cursor here i am going to declare a variable which is of which is actually v underscore emp and i am declaring a variable this variable of ref cursor type and whatever we have declared here this this thing is we are going to give the same data type here so it it will become you know ref cursor type this v underscore emp become ref cursor type and let's take another uh, a variable here which is of anchor data type here it will take it can hold all kind of uh, columns which is there in the emp table actually okay so here we have declared a variable and here we have declared a normal variable actually okay here we have declared ref cursor variable all right now come to begin section let's come down here what i'm going to do i have just written an open keyword to open the cursor and the VEMP, whatever I, we have written here, the same VMP we are calling here. So open VMP for select star from EMP. So this is what we will we will be selecting all the in, uh, data of EMP table in our VEMP, V underscore EMP variable. And we are going to use this variable to get the data actually. All right. So for that, I have written a loop here, fetch V underscore EMP into EMP data. So this is what the variable what we have declared which is of anchor data type it can hold all type of uh, data which is there in emp table all right so uh, that is what i'm going to fetch the data in our this variable we and emp underscore data and I'm, I'm just doing exit when v underscore emp person not found the loop will get exited when we will not get in uh, we will not get any data in our you know cursor and we, i'll be printing here the same thing emp data dot first name uh, then space emp data dot last name this is the same emp data where we are which is like getting which are, which is like helping us to get the data from v underscore emp cursor okay so yeah this is like first example of uh, ref cursor a weekly type weak type ref cursor so uh, you can say that yeah this, these the same result can be achieved uh, using normal cursor as well so i agree for that i agree that the same result the same thing we can do with a uh, simple cursor as well but i'll show you the actual uh, you know difference between normal example and ref cursor in my next example all right so before that let me you know copy this and paste in a sql workshop so that you will get to know that yeah how ref cursor work so i opened this and let me paste it here and run this query yeah so as you can see we got the data we got all the employees first name and last name here okay so this is how you know our first name and last name is coming with the help of ref cursor actually all right so this is what the first basic example to understand what is ref cursor okay now let's come to second example you know a bit complicated and this will help us to understand in better way about ref cursor okay so uh, what i'm doing here the same thing i have declared a ref cursor emp underscore ref 
and here I have declared a variable which is of EMP underscore REF type. Here I have declared another variable to hold the data actually EMP underscore data. And here uh, as, uh, any other uh, you know I just I just declared a variable of variable name as A of number type. So this is gonna what what it's gonna do I'll show you here. So here I have a begin in begin section. I'm just assigning a value one to this A. Okay and here see here i have written i'm writing this open when i'm opening the cursor i have written this open uh, cursor two times okay see the first time is here and the second time is here so this is what you know the flexibility with ref cursor we cannot do this thing in simple cursor actually if a is equal to one then what we are saying open vemp for select star from emp where department id is 30 and if else if a is equal to 2 then open vemp for select star from emp where department id is equal to 90 and then end if it means that we are using the same cursor same vemp cursor for two different select statement what it what is actually not done you know not uh, you know uh, possible with normal cursor simple cursor actually this can be also only possible with ref cursor so this is how you know we can conditionalize our uh, result set we can conditionalize our uh, you know this thing uh, we want only those data on certain conditions we want only we want only those data which is having ideas department ideas 30 and here department ID is 90 so this is how we can you know conditionalize our select state our uh, you know cursor um, uh, container cursor cursor memory actually cursor data you can say okay so here we, we are getting two different data according to the you know this if statement and in the loop we are doing the same thing we are fetching the data here v underscore emp into emp data and then we are doing exit when person not found and then we are printing the data emp first name comma last name okay hope this example is clear to you this is what you know uh, the basic difference is let me copy this uh, code and paste in our sql workshop to get the data to get the result actually yeah control c and paste in our sql workshop here let me delete this and paste the new one yeah now run this so as you can see when we are saying department id uh, uh, sorry what we are saying here let's see we are saying uh, when a is equal to 1 when a is 1 here we are assigning value 1 so when a is 1 we want all the all the, uh, the employee name whose department id is 30 so let's see what happened we are getting all the employees name and these all these employees are belonging to these employee belongs to uh, department id 30 actually okay now let's uh, try the same thing with a is equal to 2 this time we will get another list of employees who belong to department id 90 all right control c and paste in our sql workshop and get the data running this by running this query so statement processed we didn't get any any data it may possible that we don't have any uh, you know employee who actually belong to department id 90 let's do select star from emp table and let's see uh, is there any person who belong to department id 90 no i guess we don't have actually so let's check department id 100 okay and check the same uh, you know query so here instead of 90 we'll take 100 okay and now run this query to get the data whether we are getting the data or not okay so let's see copy it and paste in our sql workshop Control v and run this query yeah so as you can see we got the employee list who belongs to who belongs to department id 90 uh, sorry 100 okay hope uh, this example is also clear to you uh, for any confusion you can just comment in comment box i'll do clear your doubts all right uh, now here i'm taking third example and most critical and important example actually so here what i'm doing the same way i have declared a cursor first you know ref cursor and then here i'm declaring a variable which is of this ref cursor type here i'm declaring uh, the uh, the variable which will help us to get the data from uh, cursor here i have declared another variable 
so this variable will help us the data from will help us to get the data from EMP table and this variable will help us to get the data from departments table all right now here what I'm doing I have done begin now uh, see here uh, as you can see I have written open uh, cursor for select star from EMP where department ID 30 and then I'm getting the data using this loop fetch uh, fetch the data into EMP data and you know exit when person not found and uh, dbml underscore output dot put underscore line to get the value what we have fetched so this is how this is how you know our first loop is working and first cursor is working and the same cursor v underscore EMP I am using to get another set of results from department table as you can see after this uh, this is just uh, you know uh, I just uh, uh, written a dbms score output dot put underscore line which will help us to you know uh, get get these stars in our output actually and then you can see in our second loop what what is happening here uh, here we are using the same cursor to get another set of results from department table and what I'm doing here I'm just you know fetching the the, the same thing into our you know dpt underscore department uh, dpt underscore data for to get the department results actually so as you can see we have the same you know cursor and the same cursor we are using to once select select statement to get data from EMP table and the same uh, you know uh, cursor we are using to get uh, results set from departments table so this is how you know ref cursor is flexible with the table with the tables actually with the data actually so this is this this these things can only be achieved by ref cursor we cannot do these things with normal cursor or single cursor let me copy this and paste in a sql workshop Control c to get the result so let's paste it here before that delete all data and paste it here and now run this query so as you can see we got the list of all employees who belongs to a department id 30 then we are getting the stars the star what we were printing and then we are getting all the results as you know from department table actually okay so this is how our ref cursor work and lot of examples we have so these are the basic examples to understand the ref cursor actually hope the examples and you know concept of ref cursor is clear to you in my next video i'll explain you how we can use the ref cursor in procedure we will uh, declare and open the cursor in one procedure and we will fetch the data in another procedure okay uh, so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel to learn about sql and plsql okay so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much